Okay, so let's improve some user navigation here. And the bulk of the changes we're going to do are in the layout.js file. So let's take a look at the code. So we're going to go into layout.ejs. And right now we have essentially these five lines. We're going to add a bit to that. So a lot of this has to do with Twitter Bootstrap, which is kind of beyond the scope of this screencast, but let's go over it a bit. So we're going to keep our Activity Overlord brand, and then we're going to add some EJS here. Because we have access to the session, we can tell if the user's authenticated or not. And if they are, I want to add their username to the nav bar. I also want to provide two links, one to user administration, which is our index action of our user controller, and the other is just a placeholder for now. I also want to be able to sign out from the nav bar. So if the user is authenticated, a sign out button is going to be displayed, which will connect to the destroy action of the session controller. If the user is not authenticated, I created this small form that will reside in the nav bar for quick access to signing in. And just like with other forms, we need a hidden input field that contains the CSRF token. OK, let's see what this looks like. OK, this looks better. So now I can log in right from the home page. And when I do, I go to my profile page. My username is displayed. This user administration link is available. And I've also changed the H1 of the index page to user administration. And so now I can easily navigate within the application to the home page, to my profile, to the user administration page, and I can sign out. OK, that one was short but sweet. In the next screencast, we're going to start looking at user presence and the start of the real-time nature of this application. Thanks for watching.